To think that 25 years or more have gone by since that first, first time that Al called and came out and talked to me about this program is very gratifying to think that it, it has become what it has today. I was an audiologist um, at the time and I went to a conference where they were talking about different kinds of devices that could be used for people who were deaf uh, or hard of hearing and one of the things that they presented to us was using dogs for people that are hard of hearing or deaf and Al was in the process of you know trying to decide what he was going to do and so I kind of brought this concept to him. He just didn't doubt it. He just saw it. An unmet need in the community for a program that could provide these dogs, you know, to assist the hearing impaired, but also in the process, save really great dogs from the system. He had to spend an awful lot of time out there talking to people, trying to talk about his dream without having a lot to show them yet. And so his persistence and he never lost faith, never lost hope in what he wanted to do. Al had this dream of his that we would train hearing dogs and eventually get to the point where we could train service dogs as well. And he thought that mobility, that, and we talked at one time about dogs that could recognize people that may be having seizures and whether that was something that may look at eventually, but at first it was with the hearing impaired that he was mostly concentrating. He's a great problem solver. So, you know, you come to him and say, you know, I have this, I have this child who I, I'm afraid they're going to run out into the street. Um, or um, I have some problems with maintaining my, my diabetes levels. Can you help me? And he'll try to figure out how do I do that. He just was passionate about the whole thing to the point that, that he took no salary for some, some periods of time. Just to, just to keep this program going, but when you look at what Al was looking at, which is how to have a really significant impact on the lives of people and the dogs that can serve them and bond with them, it's unbelievable. It's, it's so exciting. It's such a joy to see these dogs and my clients that come in with them. What a change they make in their life, the freedom that it allows them. And these dogs are so special, they're so amazing. The value of a 25th anniversary is, is certainly the ability to look back and to understand where you come from, what the mission was, and to evaluate, have you, have you been true to that mission? Have you honored that mission? And then it's an opportunity then to look forward too and to say, okay, if we've achieved this in 25 years, which is incredible, what is the future calling us to do beyond what we're doing right now? I think for anybody who's considering or is involved in Can Do Canines, um, they should be really proud of the work that they've done, that the staff has done, that Al has done, and um, hopefully they'll continue to do that and bring other people in, and so we'll continue doing this work 25 years from now.